Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you all an introduction to Maximo Visual Inspection, a product that just moved over to the Maximo portfolio, which I'm really excited about, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit how cool it is and really what it's all about. So Maximo Visual Inspection is looking at detecting defects at the point of installation and doing it without expensive and fancy equipment. So as you can see, I actually have it locally on my iOS device, which is where we're gonna run the models today. And I'll show you how that's all done. But first, I just wanna show you how you can get it on your iOS device. It is actually within the Apple Store. So all I did, came on the Apple Store, came to Maximo Visual Inspection, and went ahead and downloaded it. For today, we're gonna to keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna show you two object detection models that I put together in a few hours. Um, and really they look at being able to detect paper clips in one model and then being able to detect the type of paper clip. So we're gonna look at color of paper clip and we're actually gonna have one model, paper clips model, trigger the second model, which is the inspection model based upon count. So a little background on what I was doing. There's two different models on the screen as you can see here. One is a paper clip detection model. So all that's looking for is the presence of paper clips. And then what's gonna happen from there is it's gonna do a paper clip inspection model. So once the detection model detects the paper clips, then we're gonna do a paper clip inspection model, which is going to either pass or not pass the inspection based upon what is present within the screen. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So let's look at the paperclip detection model. And since it is just detecting for the presence of a paperclip or paperclips, it is going to be in what we call streaming mode. So it's a trigger. Instead of having to hook up to a PLC system, you will be able to have your device set up, just look for the presence of something. Once it sees it, it will begin inspecting. And you can play with the settings there to do it to your use case or scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and select capture and go into our streaming mode. And what you see here is the models are currently running in real time and they are looking for paper clips. And then as well, showing you the confidence of that those are paper clips. So what you can see here is that it successfully picked all eight paper clips. And since I didn't set um, the thresholds on what was pass and fail, it's automatically set to fail, but it is showing all paper clips as we want it to. Now we can go to our second model. Our second model is a paper clip inspection model. And I put it where I wanted to detect one dark blue paper clip, two light green paper clips, two light blue paper clips, a purple, pink, and orange. So I made it a little challenging and let's see how it performs. So I'm gonna get the photo in the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and capture. And you will see that that inspection passed. It's got one purple, one orange, two light blue, one dark blue, one pink, and two green, as you see on the screen. So this is my favorite part about Maximo Visual Inspection, and that's the ability to have one model start your inspection by triggering the presence of something, and then the second model to do the actual inspection itself. So as you can imagine on a manufacturing line, you are going to have parts moving along on the assembly line, on the conveyor. So there'll be times when there's something there and it's waiting as you can see in the bottom left. Now as a batch comes down, it's going to look for the presence. It's gonna start detecting and send a trigger back, which you see will then do the inspection. So pretty quickly, you're able to see that you pass the inspection and move on to the next batch, which I took two paper clips away, so this one should fail. So the next batch comes down the line, you see that it fails, it'll tell you what it failed for, and then keep moving to the next inspections. So the last two pieces I wanna show here are the dashboarding, so to see how your line or your area is performing, and then the ability to alert someone that you're having issues when defects do occur. So we're gonna go into dashboarding by hitting the bottom right. We can click on projects and click on 
multiple paper clips and show how we're performing within that data set. And what you can see here is the failure rate, the pass rate, how many photos have inspected, how many have been collected, so that's the amount of failures. And then you can actually go into those photos and see which ones passed and which ones failed. So if there's a new defect that comes into your area or your lines, you can actually use the photos of the failures or ones that even passed to then go ahead and retrain these models to continuously learn how your operations are running and what is good and what is bad. For the last piece, if you go into messages, we do have MQTT messages set up where you can get triggers saying sent from Twilio trial, the lab Morgan's iPhone failures none. So that's saying that it passed. If I go up, it's showing that it failed for pink or the absence of pink paper clips. So that's it. That is all I wanted you all to see. Within a few hours, I was able to create two different models, one to um, detect paper clips, the second one to decipher between the different colors of paper clips, and then set thresholds on how many we want coming down the line in each batch.